But last week we posted up a video of the forgotten Volkswagen bus horde in Montana. Um, in the horde were two 1960 double cabs, an early single cab, a 67 standard, a 61 combi, and a 1960 mango that had been converted to a camper. All of these buses, with the exception of one of the double cabs, were original paint, or mostly original paint. We got looking at this 1960 Mango, and this bus had last ran in 1995. And at the time, it was Stephen Susan's just daily driver, kind of excursion vehicle, camping, etc. And we thought, wouldn't it be cool to get this thing running for them one more time so they could drive it before they sold it? So while Steve and Susan were busy with their yard sale, my friend Don and his wife Rebecca and I all ran into town. We picked up some fuel lines, some clamps, some carb cleaner, just things we thought we might need to get this old bus fired. First thing we had to do was get the deck lid open. We soaked the, we soaked the latch in WD-40 and we finally got it to free up and got the deck lid open. Discovered that the bus had a 1776 single port with dual carbs. We removed the carburetors and uh, got them cleaned up and working, got them squirting gas. And then we had to remove the fuel pump. So luckily it was a factory style fuel pump. We were able to tear that apart and get the diaphragm kind of freed up and we finally got it pumping. All right, we're here in Columbia Falls, Montana and uh, kind of a follow up video to our forgotten bus hoard video. We've got this 1960 Volkswagen bus that hasn't ran since 1995. Been playing around with a little bit here. Changed the fuel lines, clean up the carburetors. And this is gonna be the first time that it's been started or we sort of going to attempt to start it since uh, 1995. You want to do the honor? Do the honor, Steve. Give it a whirl. Keep going. Dirty bugger. I was just turning over a minute ago. bus. First time it's ran since 1995. Okay, 1995 was the last year this thing was running and Steve and Susan are about to take this thing for a spin for the first time in over 20 years. Remember how to drive a stick shift, honey? Huh? Oh, Darian. Can you back it up or is there stuff back there? There's stuff back there, yeah. Oh, come on, sweetheart. <laughs> Do 
it rolled over here, didn't it? Yep. It's awesome. This is so cool! Yeah! <laughs> oh my gosh. This is wonderful. Hey baby, how you doing? Wait for Jeremy. Wait for Jeremy. Drive out. Excited to start living the van life, Susan? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I guess not start, just resume. Just resume, yeah. <laughs> it's not really starting, it's resuming for you guys. Go up to the uh, reservoir and go camping. <laughs> you guys will be camping in style in that coach built. Well, I'll tell you what, there's a good... There you have it, Steve and Susan got to drive their 1960 Mango once again, and it looks to me like they were having a pretty good time. I'll tell you what, we had a great time as well, and I'd love to thank Steve and Susan for letting myself and Don and Rebecca, letting all of us come up there and kind of cramp their style a little bit and uh, check out this amazing collection of Volkswagen buses and, of course, the two Carmen Gias. Um, driving this bus for the first time in, in over 20 years was, was a blast. This is part of the hobby that I love the most. And uh, as always, I appreciate all of you watching, subscribing, and uh, sharing our content here on the Volkswagen YouTube channel. Please take a minute to share this with some of your friends and uh, help us spread the uh, positive Volkswagen bus vibes. <laughs>